Good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Equagan. In today's video, we're going to go over the roles on VOG weapons and what I prefer, whether it's PvE or PvP. All right. I have acquired some of the roles that I wanted to go after, so I will be showing some of that off during this whole thing. But I'm going to do my best to give you all the info, get you in, and get you out. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to start out with everyone's classic gun that came back from Destiny 1 called the Fatebringer. And if I look at the two gunsmith, which is the website I'm using, if you need it, I'll put the link in the description. Everyone seems to go crazy over the original explosive firefly, you know, together perk, which is really nice. But for me as a, a, a grandmaster player, right, going to GMs all the time, I know, I know for a fact that I'm not going to be procking firefly as much as I want to, to get that extra reload speed and so on and so on. But I do know that I will be facing overload champions and explosive payload works really well against overload champions. So for me, frenzy is going to be the perk there. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have explosive firefly roll, that is still a great roll. You can use it with anything that's up to light. Uh, you can clear out rooms and you could do so much, you know, you could do a bunch of stuff, especially when it comes down to have those two perks together in destiny 2 and actually working where firefly can still proc now hear me out here frenzy is a perk that you have to be in combat for 12 seconds in grand masters more than likely you're going to be in, in a fight for way more than 12 seconds even red bars kind of take a bit to kill so that's that's going to be something that you're going to be able to have up all the time so my role for Grandmasters, if I had to bring one in there which i just showed you it's going to be an explosive payload of frenzy all right now one thing about the fate bringer for me is the base stats are so awesome that you can go with anything in this slot here even if you want to flare magwell maybe for some more reload and stability um i got accurize on mine which isn't bad so my my range kind of goes up and this is what i got and this is fine for me because the, the base reload is 51 the handling is at 60 and the build is at 61 and then having all that range is not bad. When it comes to the mod that I'm going to throw in here for Grandmasters, it is going to be Major Spec because, all, you know, champions, ultras, and Major Spec works on them. Now, let's say I'm not in, you know, I'm not in Endgame and I just want to mess around. A lot of people kind of slept on this perk here. We run around with Firefly is also another great addition. Hear me out here. When you kill a bunch of ads, right? Rewind rounds does not go off of what dies to your firefly. It goes on to it go off, it goes off of how many hits you have done, and also you get fifty percent of that back. So, if my gun holds eleven and I shoot eleven shots, I'm probably gonna get back either five or six. There's going to be times where, you know, there's maybe that one ad left that you have to kill, but you have to reload, right? So this is the perfect instance where you can have rewind rounds and firefly. Uh, especially for the people that say oh my gun doesn't feel that consistent with firefly because i have explosive payload is it the gun or are you missing i don't know but we're gonna go with this take all right we're gonna go with this hot take next weapon we have the praetis revenge so the praetis revenge has a bunch of cool combos if i had to choose one because i wanted to do dps or damage because it is a, a rapid fire frame i'm probably gonna go rewind rounds right now what am i gonna use in my second slot more than likely i'm gonna go high impact reserves because perfect example but i think bungie only gave this thing tactical mag that's all you need because a stand is also gonna bring you up to seven but if you have tactical mag you're up to you're up to seven and then you can put on a boss spec or major spec depending on what enemy that you're you know you're shooting right and if you're going to get to take an enemy make sure you use second spec because you get 10 percent extra damage rewind rounds means after you shoot your seven you're probably going to get either three to four shots back which allows you to do more damage and the thing is in pve right gradual damage increase starting at 50 percent of your magazine left if you think about it if you go down to either three or four you're already at the base of your reserves, so that means that you get extra shots. Now, if you want a fun roll just to mess around with, though, I'm not gonna lie, Firefly is pretty awesome. You could turn this into your favorite scout rifle. I'm not even joking. It just run, run a feed of Frenzy Firefly one. If you get it, I'm not saying go after this, but if you get this, just go start shooting stuff. You'll see what I mean. It's, it's like a scout rifle. You kill here, a bunch of shit blows up, you go to the next thing. And if you have energy accelerant, this might be a fun thing to kind of work with. I do have peers that play a lot of Crucible, and some are going for a moving target and opening shot. And if that's something that you're looking for in Crucible, um, 
this might be something that you want to use i know that people are still go going for rewind rounds as well because if you know if you if you get your hits in you do get ammo right so the thing about rewind rounds though is when you land the crucible you only have what two shots anyway so you shoot two and you have one back i don't know um and of course there's the peeps that love quick draw so quick draw and opening shot might be something that you want to use on it i feel like the handling on the on the gun is pretty good anyway i don't think you need the the quick draw but that's just my hot take yeah that's it for Praetor's uh revenge next weapon that i want to go to is going to be the vision of confluence which is the scout rifle that most of us loved if you played destiny one one weird thing that bungie did that i wasn't a huge fan of is having fully auto being in a slot where you can you can get damage or get firefly or disruption break i think this was a fucked up thing from bungie like they just want to ruin the fun they didn't want to kind of give us back what we like enjoyed in destiny one which was a fully out of vision of confluence for firefly i i don't know who in the studio decided to be the party pooper this gun would have been really fun if fully auto was in this slot all right so hear me out here if you're going for a grandmaster scout rifle because you want to run barrier on your scout rifle armor piercing is very awesome against barriers next thing we run rounds and disruption break let me break this down because you know some people are like why would you want rewind rounds okay the gun holds 16 there's going to be situations where you dump that 16 and you might need that one shot to break that barrier shield but you have to reload and guess what rewind rounds does for you when your mag is empty it brings back whatever you hit so now not only if you hit those 16 shots you get eight shots back you get that shot that you need to break the thing off of and then you have disruption break right so you get to go to whatever kinetic you have because that gets to do 50 percent more damage for you and your allies right maybe you have breach and clear load as well this allows you to do you know to kind of do a bunch okay so this perk right here these three perks if you're looking into gms this is the play another cool thing to look at will be firefly and this is just like you know a generic generic play if you're running with firefly right and you wanted to use killing wind final blows increase mobility weapon range and handling for a short duration this makes it fun um and also i believe i had this role and i like i play like a few crucible matches with it yeah scouts aren't the greatest things because 120s are basically still scout rifles but this role actually felt good it was awesome you see like a head spark off right you got all these uh extra things you know puffed up on your gun and you're able to do something with it so if you're one of these people that want to go like using a crucible this might be the play for you all right um i stop recommending surplus as much as i can because surplus is something that like messes around with people's um like the way guns feel for you because when you go when you go off a gun that doesn't have surplus is not the greatest thing and my great friend drew also said this if you're a hunter and you're running uh you know the six coyote chest piece surplus goes up even more because you you know you kind of have uh you have well you have two dodges basically right or if you run the the new hunter chest piece uh with the eyes on it right you you have uh extra melee so that does you know kind of buff surplus up where you can have two things up all the time if you wanted to right but besides that if you're you trying to surplus go for it I just don't like recommending that as much anymore when we did the day one vog i ended up with like a, a fully auto and i think uh what was it a wallspring one or whatever it was all right i got to use it a bit um it wasn't the greatest role the thing about like telling people to go for a fully auto role is there's not too many good things here that you can put it with i'm sorry to say this but there's not many things that i would be like you could put this with this at all so if you go for fully auto maybe rewind rounds i don't know now let's move on to the next weapon found verdict which is the shotgun from the raid found verdict is an aggressive arc shotgun and everyone will probably hype you and tell you it is like possibly better than fell winters and you know what that's a lie Fell winters had a shot package i, I you know i just i just got to tell you this but if i'm gonna get this gun i'm probably gonna get it for pve i'm not gonna get it for pvp because it's a far superior weapon like i said surplus just feels funky sometimes so i don't like to go for it but if you're gonna go for a crucible roll i feel like this is the generic crucible roll that you know 
I would tell someone to go after. You got your full choke, you have your accurize, you have your slide shot, meaning you get to reload, right? Not only that, it temporarily boosts your range of stability. You have that up opening shot, you switch to your saga and you're sliding. Both of these kind of work well together. I just feel like surplus does mess with people's uh, movement and gameplay sometimes. There's going to be times where you want to fight and times you don't because you don't have your abilities up. So surplus is not even doing anything for you. So when it comes to P Crucible, that would be something I would I would recommend. Now, when it comes to PvE, this is something that, you know, you get to keep around. But hear me out here. I feel like slug shotguns are just a lot better. That is also just my opinion. But slug shotguns just feel more powerful. But if you had to, if you had to, okay. Assault mag, all right? Why assault mag? Assault mag changes my round per minute. I'm gonna stack that up with fully auto, which means I get to shoot even faster. Why? Because I don't have to do much besides hold the freaking trigger. Or the best thing is when you have fully auto on the weapon, don't hold the trigger, tap it. It goes even faster, all right? So assault mag, fully auto, whirlpool. And this is just because you want to use it against an enemy like a, a yellow bar. You're not going to use this on like red bars, are you? Right? I'm not sure what the, the time loss uh, weapons are going to have for mods. I don't know if they're going to have a depth mods because if they do, then maybe this roll, right? If you get this roll, maybe you can go with, uh, you know, a, a depth big ones. I am not sure what the time loss weapons are going to have on them. All right. So that's my hot take. For the found verdict now we're going to move on to hesin's vengeance which is the rocket launcher this rocket launcher has a lot of different options in the last slot there's basically maybe three things that i would probably use which is the top three and they're all very situational if i'm trying to do like some crazy wild dps thing i might use uh demolitionist because then you know i throw my grenade i get my reload but hear me out here i feel like when it comes to this slot the king is going to be overflow something that rockets lack is how much they hold in the mag so having two in the mag is awesome but the cool thing about overflow is if you have ammo on the ground right if you do this the way that i think you're going to do this right if you run special finisher and you make a bunch of special around you right before a damage phase and you shoot two shots because overflow gave you two and you step into that special ammo brick and it gives you another two you don't really even need demolitionist you can just kind of like have you know four rockets to shoot without having to reload or maybe six rockets right or eight rockets however you want to put it overflow is just nice because whenever you pick up special or heavy it doubles your ammo in this slot here vorpal is nice vorpal is very consistent right 15 percent extra damage against bosses vehicles guardians ultras last impression is also nice right especially if you have overflow you can shoot two last impression weapon uh rockets and you know that they're gonna do something um and like i said demolition this is not bad if i had to set up a roll right for me i would go for two different roles here right whether it's hard launch or quick launch these three should be the same here and i'm going to go for a vorpal one and a last impression one why is because it's nice to have options you know like certain weapons roles and traits fit into better situation than others right something that might not work for a particular thing might work for another okay so that is my suggestion when it comes to hesin's vengeance when it comes to masterwork i will always go velocity if you get velocity you're set okay next thing is going to be the machine gun corrective measure is an adaptive frame machine gun the first the first thing that i saw here was subsistence firefly it's freaking amazing i actually have this role if you go with tactical you hold 64. if you go to pen you have 68. if you have extended you have 73. and why do you want to extend it with this role hear me out here extended does take out you know it's minus 18 reload but you don't need to reload if you're killing with subsistence so there's no point <laughs> In having tactical or appended or any other thing here, if you have subsistence and you see extended, that is perfect. Your mag is at the highest that it can be. And then you have Firefly. And another cool thing is you Firefly doesn't work with um 
with the dragonfly mods so if you wanted to you can put backup mag right but the thing about backup mag right now is that it's not going to do much for your gun right because it goes up to 75. so why would i use that it's better to use something like maybe minor spec because you get to shred ads a lot quicker right this is like an ad clearing weapon subsistence and firefly with extended is a great role for this weapon now a role that people I don't know having maybe people like see it but they don't go after it is demolitionist adrenaline junkie all right now you can go you can go over for this if you wanted to demolitionist primary and power kills grant 10 percent of your grenade energy special grants 20 percent three second cooldown on the grenade usage reload effect demolitionist basically you get your grenade and as you kill you get grenade energy adrenaline junkie it refreshes on grenade kills it lasts 10 seconds and weapon damage boost goes up to 33%. At one time it's 10%, at two times it's 21%, at three times it's 33%. If you're using this with like a controverse build or maybe even like a devour build or just grenades, if, if you're using something with grenades, this is a wild combo. Why? You get your grenade back a bunch of times because of demolitionist if you need to reload badly you throw your grenade your gun is reloaded after you throw your grenade and you kill things you get a damage boost all right that is something that is being oversaw and i know someone's probably gonna ask ek why not like feed and frenzy firefly i feel like feed and frenzy firefly would be good ek do i really need feed and frenzy to reload if i have subsistence you know hear me out what's the point of reloading if you don't need to all right so those are my roles for corrective measure subsistence firefly and the demolitionist adrenaline junkie these two together are insane i kind of wish we had this on an energy weapon like even a primary because you get to just shred with it but um maybe in the future it'll be something that we'll see but i like i love the composition of these two perks together um that's about it i'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos i will do my best to put more weapon roll videos out i'm probably going to do the seasonal weapon videos uh for the next one uh and later on today we're going to be doing the passion of destiny episode with seridius so that's going to be uploaded probably tomorrow thank you for watching also thank you very much for subscribing to the channel we are now at 16,000 subscribers i'll see you guys on the next video remember you know if you like what you see make sure you hit the like subscribe button and definitely ring that bell man put that bell up hit, you know turn on your notifications and i'll see you guys on the next video deuces dog nah no, say like <laughs>